man, I thought I lived in Anchorage, not Fairbanks. Well, that was taken on Friday the 18th at about 8.30 in the morning. And it is now about 8.45 on Tuesday the 22nd. And it's only gotten a little bit better. <laughs> Uh, the camera's not really focusing on it because it's like three times brighter than everything else, but yeah, that's one degree Fahrenheit, and no, I'm not liking it any more than I like that. <laughs> oh, look at that, I'm being called. Ah, Qdoba, we meet again. And I'm back home with a frozen truck that isn't mine. Yeah, I'll explain that one in a little bit. Yeah, that snow will be gone in no time sitting in here with that sucker turned on. <laughs> and now we go clear a driveway. Clean driveway. Frosted snowblower. And frosted me. Wind's blowing a little bit and all this snow isn't exactly the hard packing type of it being still under 10 degrees out. And frosted broken truck. <laughs> uh, I haven't touched this truck since I want to say Friday night. I've been driving my mom's for a that time which I am really thankful she has allowed me to do I'm gonna get this thing in the garage and explain that a little better waves are white caps nah these are white caps This piece right here is why my truck has basically been decommissioned for a while. Basically, I got home either, I want to say it was Wednesday night, because that's when I started this week-long work deal. But I got home Wednesday night, and my rear brake, my right rear brake rotor was smoking. And... That's not good. I don't ride my brakes, so that's not normal either. <laughs> so I uh, t brought it into the garage and found out that the piece, this piece that is currently on the truck, has basically failed and is no longer releasing the brake pads from the brake rotor, which means the brake pads are dragging and is causing it to overheat. So. I have to replace this <laughs> and the reason I haven't done that yet is because I've been working all this time and I really am not awake enough to do something like that and truthfully the only reason I'm still awake now is because I was ferrying my mom back and forth from the base <laughs> for various reasons but anyway I'm probably gonna Get that done Wednesday night. I, well, I guess that'd be tomorrow night. I still, I still work tonight, so. Got one more day of this little work week. One more truck to go of the seven. Today was easily the most fun, though. More hardline than anything else. I got a lot of footage from upstairs I'll show you if I decide to ever narrate it. <laughs> I, right now, I'm going to go to bed because I am tired. And I really need to be ready for work tomorrow so tonight not tomorrow tonight <clears throat> meanwhile, meanwhile earlier, earlier this, this, morning, this morning we had more luggage than we knew what to do with this is what I started with yes that is me and this is what it became yes this and this <laughs> Thank you.
And here's me basically tearing apart the pile at very high speed. This took about 18 minutes or so. <laughs> I was afraid my battery wouldn't last that long. And look at me, I'm narrating a clip I took nearly five days ago. Yeah, that's really... <laughs> yep, I'm still tearing through it. Throwing plastic one direction, throwing boxes the other direction, and taking all the luggage to the aisles. Yes. Oh, but we're not done here. No. Watch as I destroy it running down the stairs. Where the boxes are kind of blocking the way. Yeah, I made quick work of that, didn't I? <laughs> kind of got laughed at when I got to the bottom, too, because someone was watching me go down it. <laughs> eh, what the heck. It's about to all meet the compactor. So it really doesn't matter what I do to it anyway. next day and he's the one on the snow blower because I guess he wanted to do it instead of me I don't know <laughs> I offered so yeah my truck is going in the garage here pretty soon because I'm gonna replace this thing I've been a week without my truck and I really miss it now <laughs> while I'm at it. <laughs> Goodbye, old caliper. You will not be missed. Because... I'm actually able to drive my truck again! And that makes me so incredibly happy because I must say, while I am happy, my mom was cool enough to allow me to drive hers. I definitely like mine better. <laughs> and this is white out. And I must be insane for trying to take video <laughs> while we're in this type of condition. This is barely see anything. The camera actually sees better than I do. That's freaking hilarious right there. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, I am headed to work. It's about 10.45 at night. I start work at 11.30, so I'll get a little bit of shopping done before uh, start work. But no one gets to see what I buy, because, you know, it's that kind of thing. <laughs> but anyway, I will probably update as the night goes along. As for now, I'm just so glad my truck is in working order again, and my brake is not locking up and overheating itself. <laughs> Okie dokie, bye. Well, I didn't really update like I said I would. <laughs> Let's just suffice to say it was insane. Like, uh, they let everyone in and instantly it was like the store was full of people just looking for the holiday shopping for Black Friday deals and it's like, wow! The register line was curling back from the front of the store around the side aisles around the back aisles and all the way back around to the other side of the store that's how many people there were and how many were looking to check out at the time and now everything gone dark i'm gonna update from inside i need to uh get my truck all figured out because it's snowing again yeah i know you can't really see anything yeah, there we go. So we get the annoying truck instead. Yeah, it is snowing again. I am going to have to snow blow this driveway. Probably before I get some sleep. And, um... 
this windshield's going to be a solid glaze of ice the next time I go to use it. I can see it already. But that's what I get for living in Alaska. <laughs> yeah. You've got to be freaking kidding me. Bed full of clothes. But not anymore. Wonder where they went. Hmm, well, how about that? A mostly empty closet. Freaking magic, man. I swear this state is trying to tell me something with all this below zero weather and all the snow we've had over the last week. It's like, why are you still here? You should be gone. <laughs> In some ways, I'm beginning to agree. And, uh... As much as I know some people would hate to hear it, I ain't sticking around for another winter. This winter is for people that can handle it. And you know, I've been able to handle it up until now, but these last couple weeks of, like, negative temperatures every single freaking day, no, I don't want any part of it. Now, if they were hanging around like 10s and 20s, maybe a couple of uh, single digits, you know, I can handle that. It's fine. But negatives? Not just negatives, but negative 20s and 30s that we've been having lately. <laughs> that sh In the meantime, it is time for sleep. After I finish... I'll edit this stupid thing later. See ya.